Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, December 12th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. Let us light our Advent wreath this morning. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here. Until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Come thou light of Christ and enter the darkness. Today we read Psalm 26, and to be honest with you, I find it rather annoying. <laughs> this psalm is self-congratulatory. It's basically a psalm from a guy who thinks he's doing great. <laughs> he says, I'm awesome. Um, he says this beautiful word, though. He says, I have walked in my wholeness. I have walked in my wholeness. I'd like to walk in my wholeness, too. That sounds pretty good. Sounds like he's got his act together. And he says, let me wash my palms in cleanness and go around your altar, O Lord. Before we celebrate the Holy Eucharist, the celebrant, the one who's telling the story, usually washes their hands in a symbolic gesture right before the altar. This is an optional thing. Not every church does it, but it's a symbol um, that we, from time to time, need to keep cleaning ourselves off spiritually. Um, in our baptism, we were washed clean and loved by God forever, but we do accumulate a lot of, well, moral dust. <laughs> we accumulate a lot of oh, things we've done and left undone, like we so, uh, confess every Sunday. So we have, to, we have to just let go of stuff. We have to forgive ourselves and forgive other people again and again and again. And that doesn't negate our baptism. It just means that, well, we need cleaning off. We're, we're good, we're baptized, we're blessed by God, we're loved by God, but we still need to be washed clean, just like you need to take a shower in your physical body, accrues dirt and smell. Our spiritual bodies also accrue our wrongdoings, or just they accrue the difficulties of the situations we're in. I had a former bishop in Kansas who used to call it, um, when we'd go to the hospital and be with someone who's really sick, I'd be, I'd be tired and he'd say oh that's the rub off effect yeah because you're around so much suffering you feel exhausted so sometimes it's just being around pain that causes us to need to wash ourselves clean this psalmist certainly doesn't think he's done anything wrong <laughs> i doubt it was a she people didn't let women write back then but maybe it was but whoever it was uh, was very proud of themselves and says, I'm I'm qualified to come into the temple and wash my hands and walk around your altar. Oh Lord, I am a good person. I walk in my wholeness. Well, congratulations, psalmist. I want to walk in my wholeness too. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the richness and complexity of the Psalms and all their vast array. We thank you that we can congratulate ourselves to you when we do right, like this Psalm does today in 26. And we thank you that we can beg for your mercy when we need it. We give thanks for the gift of our lives and our loved ones, for health and for the beauty of this earth that you've given us. We ask that you would give us peace. We ask that you would open a new chapter in the consciousness of humanity, that we would learn to value human life, to embrace difference, to heighten our awareness of the gift of the natural resources you have given us and to use them wisely. Bless the sick and the suffering today, Lord, those who grieve and mourn. Bless the little children. 
bless the aged and infirmed. We ask you to guide us today, Lord, in all that we do, that we might be our hands and feet in this beautiful world that is also broken. And when we need to be cleansed again, that you would renew us and send us out into the world once more in your service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.